what I get back in owner-operated trucking today. All right, hi guys, uh, Ryan here once again today. Today we're gonna kinda go a little bit off topic uh, from our normal maintenance type uh, videos and how-tos. I had a question kinda rolling around in my mind, had some people uh, calling me, asking for some advice, consulting, that type of thing. And uh, like I said, the question's really been on my mind and uh, it's what I get back in owner-operated trucking today. Um, that's July of 2022 in the world that we live in. So I wanted to, to talk about a, different, a couple different things uh, that are going on and uh, my perspective and uh, you know, cause I was an owner operator for several years. So I have a little bit of insight as well. So we'll talk about those points and go from there. All right guys, uh, before we get started, I just wanted to give a, a shout out to uh, one of our sponsors, uh, Amur Finance. So if you're looking to finance new equipment, pretty good people to work with. Check out the, their information in the uh, description below. And like I said, hopefully they can help you out. Okay. so. Right now, would I get back into trucking? Well, those of you that know me and have been followers for a while, I can't drive. I, I do not want to get on the highway ever again. I mean, that's just my thing. So, but I'm not going to beat that dead horse any more than we have in the past. So we're just going to go right in, uh, you know, to looking at it as somebody from a neutral perspective, I guess, or somebody that doesn't have a problem driving with people out on the highways anymore. This business, I've talked about this in my older trucking business videos. This is a cyclical business. You can compare it a lot to farming. There's ups and downs, there's good years, there's bad years. And it seemed what I've seen in my time and a lot of the older timers that have been out there 20, 30 years uh, owner operating, there's gonna be good years and bad years. And it seems like it's a cycle. I see like a two, three year cycle where you have good rates for a year or two, and then you're gonna have bad rates for a year or two. But it seems like when those rates are really good, Everybody want, everybody goes out and buys equipment. I'm gonna be an owner operator, buys new trucks, trailers. And then people get in over their head and the rates start going down a little bit. And then it's just a race to the bottom. You know, people just taking loads just to make a truck payment. But right now, there's a couple variables that are kind of gonna make things really strange, I guess you could say. First of all, the way with inflation, the shortages we've had with trucks and parts and all that, People have went out and, and overpaid by a lot for equipment. And now you're seeing the side, the, the rates have dropped significantly and, and people went out and, and paid $200,000, you know, for a $125,000 truck. They got a lot bigger payments. We got six over $6 a gallon fuel and that's here in my state of Ohio. So I mean, other states, you know, on the West Coast, um, it's even higher than that. Um, so if you got a truck that's getting five miles a gallon, you're paying $6 for fuel. I mean, you're, you're at, at the dollar fifteen per mile just in fuel, you know, and you're pulling $2 a mile freight, you got truck payment, insurance, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, it just, it don't make any sense right now. Uh, flatbed I hear is a little bit better. I mean, I talked to a lot of guys coming into the shop and kind of hear the rates, you know, what, what's going on with that. Um, but I mean, I'm not actively looking. Um, we do have a trucking authority that we're putting together and, and moving eventually, putting some, looking at least guys on eventually. So if you're interested in that, hold tight. Um, we're working on it with everything else around here. So right now where rates were high for there for about a year and a half, two years, you know, rates it, it were really good. So everybody went out, bought equipment, paid a lot more for equipment than they probably should have for trailers, trucks, everything else. So now we're running into, there's going to be a mass exodus, I think. Um, so there's going to be the guys that are overextended. They're now it seems like everybody is, is just picking off the scraps right now, just like I said, just to make a payment because they don't know what to do. I mean, and the other thing I see in the business is that on these high years, these guys are like, oh, I made, I took home 150, you know, 100, 150,000 this year. I did great. So go out and buy a new Harley Davidson, go out and buy a new car, go out and buy a new house. You know, then the next year, oh, you made 50,000. Now they're scrambling. They don't know what to do. I mean, like I said, guys are going to do whatever they, even if they got to take a dollar 50 mile load, they're going to do it just to make, just to cover Make, make you know basically break even for essentially just to make their payments so but eventually it will come to a head and it's a lot of guys are going to get tied to a tree and bash with a shovel and and, and they're going to be out of business and once you kind of have that calling uh then that's when you'll when there's less it's a supply and demand situation which i've talked about this in our videos several times um it's amount of trucks on the road and the guys willing to do stuff for a lot less so once those guys are out of business and you got a lot smaller pool that supply demand situation goes the other way. And, and again, I think this time with the high equipment prices that people paid and high fuel prices, it's gonna be substantially worse with the amount of people that are probably gonna go out of business. So I think 
probably in six months to a year, depending on what fuel prices and all that does and how many guys actually go out of business, eventually it's gonna come back up and the rates are gonna come back up with less trucks on the road. I mean, and with the prices of everything else rising, there's only one way for it to go at that point. As of today, June 24th, uh, 2022, I don't think I would jump in a truck and uh, go out there and, and try to play the game. Um, but I think in another six months, 12 months, uh, I think those rates are probably gonna get up there and they'll probably be higher than, than they were before, just how everything else has risen, fuel prices and, and inflation itself. Like I said, I don't think I'd get into it today. I mean, I think I'd sit back and buy my time, wait for the equipment prices to drop because before, uh, down, I got Canton, uh, Kenworth, uh, Kenworth of Canton right down the street from me. Six months ago, they didn't have anything on the lot. Now there, there's about 20 trucks down there. I see the same thing at Volvo, Freightliner. Seeing a lot of equipment coming on on the lots now when you didn't see any before. So I know some of those are probably vehicles that are gonna be delivered, but there's a lot of used equipment coming on. So I mean, I think I would hold, hold on to my money, hold tight wait for these equipment prices to come back down and start seeing those rates come back up. And that's probably what would be my strategy of jumping back into the business. So, so that was kind of for guys looking to get in. Now for you guys that are out there now that might be kind of rookies, been in the business for, you just got one that you just jumped into this on this, this uphill thing last year. The main thing is you got to have your finances right. You know, keep your, keep your fixed expenses and everything low because you never know what your variables are going to do like they're doing right now with fuel. And the thing you got to learn, like I said, this is a cyclical business. I mean, so just because you made a bunch of money last year don't mean you blow it all on stuff. You got to put some of that away because, I mean, it's always, this always happens. It's not a new thing. This is, it's a two or three year cycle. I mean, so you got to, you got to put, you know, 30, 40, 50, you know, six months of your expenses. You need to put that, have that in the bank. So if, if you need to park it, when it, when it comes to a certain point, where your expenses are more than what your income is, you park the truck, go drive for somebody else. Park, that's, uh, I, I know several people that are parking their trucks and they're gonna go, be a, go, go do the company driver thing for six months. And when the rates come back up, you jump back in your truck. And that's, that's why I've always preached to keep your, your truck payment low, if not paid off, keep your equipment, I mean, keep everything at a bare minimum. So that way, you know, you can kind of average everything out, you know, over these ups and downs and you can make a decent income. Um, like I said, you might make 150 this year, then 50 the next after your expenses and all that. So, but the main thing is, I mean, if you can hang in there, hang in there. I mean, if it if it if it doesn't make sense, you know, if your if your cost with fuel and everything, your fixed expenses are more than what a load's paying, you know, you're better off to park the truck. You know, so that's about the best advice I can give you guys from my experience. You know, we are on the maintenance side now, um, but uh, I I, did, I played the game for about five years there, and I, I love the business. Uh, love look, looking for loads and you know, driving cross country and all that. But uh, like I said, the driving with on high with these people, it just, it ain't for me anymore. So, but I hope that uh, helps you out. Like I said, a little bit of insight with somebody from, you know, the same background or a little bit of a, you know, owner open background. So, so uh, good luck out there um, and hold on as long as you can. So uh, appreciate you guys watching. Uh, thanks for all the support. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell for the updates. And uh, as always, like the video. So uh, thanks again, guys. We'll see you next time.